I may step on a few toes here if you've heard that expression because as we identify some of the areas that we can have challenges in with our listening, you have to acknowledge what your weaknesses are in order to improve on them. So this video is going to go through some of the typical challenges we have to effective listening and I will explain some of them, not quite all of them. So here would be a preview slide. There are lots of different challenges for effective listening. And let me just dive on in to some of these challenges. One of the biggest challenges that we have is information overload. I mean, we are bombarded by messages. Messages, not just like social media or phone calls or things like that, right? But even the, the workload, the, the doorbell ringing while your dog is barking, while your pot is boiling over on the stove, all of that is information that you're taking in and you have to prioritize that, right? And so there is such a thing called information overload and it can be overwhelming. But I wanna focus in on rapid thought because this is really key for us developing our listening skills without a whole lot more time involved. So you need to know the average person speaks about 125 words per minute, would be a good average to mention, but you actually have the ability to process about 600 words per minute. And there are some different numbers here depending on what you read, but they're all about the same. The point here is if somebody is speaking at 125, and I tend to speak much faster, and you have the ability to process 600 words per minute, what happens in that time difference? In the rate of speech, which is much slower than what you can process, that's where your mind wanders or you get sidetracked, right? Or distractions come into play because there's a, a, a extra time right there. So if we can learn how to, to rein that in and use that time more wisely, more productively, we can increase our listening skills really well without it necessarily taking a whole lot of time. Although sometimes listening does just take time. So let's dive into some other challenges. Obviously, um, external noise can interfere. We know like my bird loves to chime in, right? External noise. Um, it could be visual, and this takes us back to chapter one with our communication model, noise, anything that interferes with the communication process. So it, but it can be internal. It could be you're sick, right? Or intoxicated or angry or worried or excited, or you have information overload. That really is noise. A lot of you said first week of school, you had so much coming at you. That was information overload. That's why I tried to ease into this class and I didn't have any content, speech content until the second week. I wanted you to get comfortable and learn the program, trying to minimize some of that anxiety or stress. But those are things that all can interfere. Semantic noise, we talked about a little bit with our language and verbal communication chapter, right? And that is basically um, certain words that cause issues, be trigger words even, um, that um, people can argue over definitions. That's semantics. There are a few differences between um, gender and culture as far as um, listening goes, so you'll want to explore that, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to poor listening habits. Again, I know I'm stepping on some toes, but we need to discover what our strengths and weaknesses are, and we can then work on how do I improve on my weaknesses. But since most of us have never had any kind of listening training, really, where have we been taught to learn uh, to listen? Right? I was taught to not interrupt, and interrupting is one of my bad habits. Uh, so do you pretend to listen? Like in class, if we were in the classroom, I know some of you are pretending to listen. You look like you are, but you're not. Right? Tuning in and out. Uh, defending yourselves. Avoiding the issue. Missing the point. Being self-centered or self-absorbed. 
assuming that talking is more impressive than listening. That's an interesting one. Criticizing the speaker, disagreeing with the other person or the speaker. Uh, you might think a lot of things are boring. Are you distracted? Are you just not interested? Or do you assume that you already know everything? Oh, I've already heard this before. <clears throat> really? Maybe you could learn something new. So you identify your poor listening habits, and then we can figure out possibly how you can work on those. Some other challenges that we have in listening um, are actually a couple I already mentioned, being defensive, right? When a person easily is offended about something someone says to them, they have their guard up, okay? So that is um, a challenge when it comes to listening and some people are very defensive. They take things too personally when it's not meant to be personal. Selective listening is only listening to part of the message instead of the whole conversation or only reading part of the instructions on assignments in your classes. <laughs> okay, so selective listening. Pseudo listening, that's pretending to listen, looking like you're listening when you're not really. Uh, so that's called pseudo listening. Narcissistic listening, that's all about me, 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 me. Back to me. <laughs> and then combative is when you're listening really intently, but you're using that information for later use, probably, to attack them, to take that information and then go on offensive. Obviously, this happens in interrogations. You've seen that in television shows or movies. I have a great video here from Big Bang Theory about the two roommates. If you don't know the show, um, two um, science professors, um, researchers, and they are trying to uh, help each other out with their problems. So this is a fun video to watch to see how they try to uh, demonstrate listening. So that could be a fun way to test what you see. Um, as far as listening challenges and not such productive listening. Okay, so the next video, um, there will be, um, we're going to go over the different types of listening and we're going to discuss some specific tools. Some are larger, some are smaller, but the tools that you can put in your tool belt on our next video. And it will be a slightly longer to go through that just to prepare you.